Good afternoon. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. Um, I'm sitting in my truck at the Nashville International Airport. Uh, Mama has been in Idaho for the last eight days, and so I'm picking her up uh, when she lands. So my daughter in Idaho, she, uh, she went snowboarding and she fell. Kind of bunged herself up a little bit and she has three small children. And so mama went out there to kind of help with the house and help with the children while she recuperated a little bit. I don't know whether to be proud of that young lady for snowboarding at this particular juncture of her life or, or well, anyhow. Um, so you'll probably hear the airplanes taking off here and that's the noise, that's what's going on. Several years ago, I was living in Kansas in the Flint Hills, living outside of a town called Americus, which is out on the edge of Emporia. And I had a good buddy that was cowboying down outside of Olpe. I've talked about him before on here a little bit. Tony, Tony was helping me uh, start Colts and he was teaching me a lot and I was driving back and forth down there and and uh, a lot of gravel roads get down to this back out in this ranch country where he was and uh, there was this house on the corner that uh that i'd drive by and this dog would come out chasing my truck every time now it was some kind of shepherd healer cross ranch dog of some sort i don't know i think its official breed title was amalgamated pot liquor i think that's what it was uh, but he'd come out there, and I mean, he was vigorous about it. I don't know what he'd ever do if he was to ever catch my truck, but he sure put a good effort into it. You hate, you know, I hate a dog chasing a truck because you don't want to hit somebody's dog. You know, you just, so I'd swing out, speed up, so maybe he, I'd outpace him and he'd be behind me. Said something down there one day to Tony about that dog. He said, yeah, maybe one day he'll learn to quit that. If I come out there one day and Tony said, that dog got hit. I said, oh. He said, yeah, I said, it, it, he, he's all right. Somehow or another, it just kind of knocked him sprawling. Didn't, didn't hurt him. And uh, he said, maybe that'll teach him from chasing trucks. Well, sure enough, I came by there a few days later, and here come that dog, tearing off after my truck. I swung out, sped up, you know, so as to not run over him. And uh, this went on for a while, and then down there one day, and Tony said, that dog got hit again. And uh, he said, but this time they had to take him to the vet, and they had to amputate one of his legs. And, uh, but he survived it. And then he said, maybe... Maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll learn to stop chasing trucks now. So I hope so. Um, well, I guess that dog had enough time to heal because next time I come by, here he come, tearing after me on three legs, just as hard as he could run, chasing my truck. And got down to Tony's, and Tony said, yeah, I said, that dog, he ain't a slow learner. He's a no learner. My boys and I have a thing when we meet somebody that just, just won't ever learn. We'll look at each other and we'll say, that's a, that's a three-legged dog. That's what that fella is. We all, if we're not careful, wind up with trucks in life that we chase that we ain't never going to catch, ain't supposed to catch, wouldn't know what to do with if we did catch them. But we'll chase them anyhow. And eventually we keep chasing them and they'll knock us sprawling. They'll knock us for a loop. We'll be kind of bruised up. Um, but we're still stupid. We'll heal up. Next time that truck comes by, we'll chase that truck. We'll chase that truck, chase that truck. Eventually, that truck will hit us again. But this time, we'll lose a part of us that we'll never get back. Something will be amputated. And at that point, a man ought to learn. A man ought to say, you know what? shouldn't be chasing that truck but we're slow learners and sometimes we're no learners sometimes we ain't nothing but a three-legged dog 
Now, I don't know what truck you're chasing. Son, I don't know what truck has knocked you sprawling. I don't know what truck has caused you to have a part of you amputated that you will never get back. But I'm willing to bet there's some of you still chasing that truck. Now, like I've done so many times over the years, I moved not too long after that. I don't know whatever happened to that dog. I wish him well. But I know the ways of the universe to a degree. And if you just ask me, Dwayne, what do you think happened to that dog? I think I know what happened to that dog. I think what happened to that dog is what happens to us so many times. I think he never did quit chasing that truck. And I think one day that truck got him. Don't be a three-legged dog. All right? Have enough sense to stop and let that truck go by. And don't chase him no more. All right? Wish you all the best. Oh, I know Eric Stockaby, fourth generation, and the tobacco, I don't know. I found a jar this morning that I had not labeled, so I got it out and put it in a pouch and brought it with me. But I think it's Lane 1Q that I had bought a while back in order to do some of my own blending that hadn't been blended yet. So, anyhow, uh, wish you all the best, and we'll catch you all next time.